Good morning, or as we would say in Hawaii, aloha. aloha. <laughs> Thank you. It's another common shared language. Um, it's my pleasure to be here today on behalf of the Doris Duke Foundation for Islamic Art and its Center for Islamic Art in Honolulu, which is known as Shangri-La, the former home of Doris Duke, the heiress and the philanthropist, and the very large collection of Islamic art that she assembled there. Um, we are delighted to be one of the significant lenders to this exhibition, and we are here today and also um, active and enthusiastic participants in this exhibition because we share the mission of this show, which is to improve Americans' understanding of Islam, of Islamic peoples, and, and of Islamic cultures through the arts. Shangri-La and its collection of Islamic art and the Doris Duke Foundation for Islamic Art all have their origins in the travels of a 23-year-old young American woman on her honeymoon trip in 1935, traveling through parts of the Middle East and South Asia, where, like many people, she fell in love with the Taj Mahal, with the arts of Mughal architecture in India, she enjoyed shopping in the souks and the bazaars throughout the Middle East. And yet what might have been a passing fancy became in fact a lifelong endeavor of collecting Islamic art, building a collection of over 2,500 pieces over the course of her lifetime, nearly 60 years of collecting, and building a house on the shores of Hawaii and installing that art collection there. Um, there might appear to be almost the same degree of surprise and almost disconnect between locating a collection of Islamic art in Hawaii as you might find to be a surprise of finding a major exhibition of Islamic art opening in Provo, Utah. And we delight in that seeming contradiction. It's a surprise and a joy. It was a bit of a challenge for us to be an active lender to this show, in part because Doris Duke did embed so much of the collection in the house, and it's one of the things that really sets us apart from other museum exhibitions, but we found a way to do it. We shared Sabiha's vision. We congratulate her. We thank BYU for inviting and including us here. And we really are thrilled to be a part of this show, and most importantly, to take all of this collection and all of this artwork on the road throughout America to showcase the diversity and the beauty of Islamic art and truly to build bridges through the arts. Thank you very much.